Bill May. A crew got there at 9 in the morning. She didn't get her butt out of bed until 4.30. 4.30 in the afternoon. Hey, get up, please. Come on, these people are here. They want to sit down and talk to me. They can't sit down and talk to me if you don't get up. This is how I start my day every day before I go to work. It's almost 2.15. The crew's been here since 9 o'clock. And I still can't get Amy out of bed. This is a normal day in my life. Amy, come on, get up. Um, if you left me alone, don't you think life would be a little bit easier? If I left you alone, would you get up? If you left me alone and stop nagging at me? Yeah, probably, because I wouldn't hear this <laughs> I'm sorry that I've wasted your time. So that's what happened when our crew went to interview you at the house. Is Amy, is that a typical day? No, my mother and I have been arguing for like three days before that. I had told her I didn't want to do this in the first place, but she kept forcing the issue and forcing the issue and guilting me into doing everything. And I requested that your camera people did not videotape me while I'm half asleep and like dead to the world. You said yes. No, and how did you? <clears throat> and then you changed. I said, this is your opportunity to tell the world how no, horrible I am. No, because this is your opportunity to tell the world how horrible I am. And you want me to be you. You want me to change. I don't want to you to be me. me. Pardon language, but bull. You have always wanted me to be exactly what you no, want. No, I don't. You've never I been want able you to accept to the fact that potential. I am who I am. Let me ask you something, Amy. Are you taking care of four kids? <laughs> yes, I am doing the best that I can. And bull. Were any of you in my house on a day-to-day -day basis? No. Forget about them and talk to me.